Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sam. Today I'll be doing some more Dark Souls. In the last episode, we got here to the second bonfire. Um, for some reason, I rested that bonfire a bit longer, and it gave me ten Estus flasks, which is weird. I don't know why that happened. Interesting. All right. Well, anyways, in this episode, we are going to be continuing through the Undead Burg, um, and maybe fighting the first boss, the first real boss. I don't consider the uh, Asylum Demon a real boss. Honestly, he's so easy that it's just—he's not a boss. He's just not a boss, guys. Just get that in mind. Keep that in mind, should I say. Alright, smack. Just kill him. Perfect. Alright, let's keep going. So there's the idiots up there throwing the firebombs. Just ignore them. Don't worry about them at all. Um, just run across the bridge. And here we are. Two guys with axes. And there's a guy that pops through the door. Um, actually, that guy's an undead knight. So, gotta be careful with him. He has a shield. So he can block your attacks. And stagger you. So, smack. And there you go. That was pretty simple. What does this say? Try luring out. Uh, well, that wasn't a problem for me. What is this? Uh, it does not open from this side, so we're gonna have to open that door from the other side then, I guess. That's the logical way. Oh, when you see those little phantoms, those are other players actually playing the game right now, so just good to know. Smack, and you're dead, and there's another guy in here that will give us just free souls. Doesn't really matter since these souls are almost worth nothing, but whatever, I'll take them anyways. Ooh, a chest. What does this have? I actually don't remember what this is. Black fire bombs, right. Um, so those are just upgraded fire bombs. I never use the fire bombs anyway, so we that's not really a big problem or a big thing. What does it say? Uh, be wary of enemy. Good to know. Thanks, game. Uh, be wary of projectile. Okay, yeah, there's actually a guy up in the tower over there that'll shoot arrows at me. Gotta be careful. Oh, ouch. Thanks, buddy. I hate the fire bombs, guys, because they're just they're even annoying to this day because they they're hard to dodge. They do a lot of AOE damage. And when I say AOE, I mean area of effect, so damage that, um, I guess, affects a large area. So it does, it's not just like a pinpoint attack, like a, I guess a spear, but like an attack that does a lot of damage all over the place. So if there were like two people one beside the other, it would do damage to more than one. Okay, I'm actually taking some hits here. Oof, okay, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to drink. Alright, as you can see there, um, the SS Flask negated some of the damage, because when you're drinking... You can negate a bit of damage with the Estus Flask. It's actually a uh, speedrunning tactic. When you're fighting a boss and he does a lot of damage, you can just drink before it and not take any damage from the attack. So, just a good speedrunning tactic. And a soul of a lost undead. Alright, so we did all that for just one 200 soul bonus. So, no big deal though. Uh, detour, okay. Let's just drop down. And, oh, this guy dropped something too. What is it? Hollow Warrior Wastecloth. Okay. So we used our master key there to open that door. Um, that's the gift we picked at the beginning. The master key is really good because it opens any door that doesn't that needs a key that is not a quest key. So not a key that you can get from progressing in the game, but a key that you get from like a merchant or from killing a guy. So yeah, that's good. All right, so I know this trick here. You just pop right through here. Um, imminent front, okay. So you open this chest, and this should give us um, something that's going to be very useful, gold pine resin. That adds a little bit of electric damage to our, or lightning damage, should I say, to our weapon, which is very useful. And these guys, these are spear enemies. I hate these guys, because they are very annoying, they're very defensive, so they wait until just the perfect time. Except for there, that was very stupid of them. And he's dead. Alright, now this guy right here, these guys are very, very straightforward. And you can pull one at a time, so they're really not a challenge. Alright. Oh, we're out, of, we're out of stamina. Crap. Okay. And let's just kill him. Alright, two ways we can go. We could go up, we could go down. I don't think we're going to go up, since that's where the boss is. We'll go down later in the Let's Play, don't worry. But for now, we're just going to go... Ooh, ah! No way. Off the edge? Holy shit. Wow, I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> Good job, game. You killed me. Alright, well, um, I guess I'll see you guys when, we get, when I get back. So that took, like, ten seconds. Alright, I'm back. Um, so... I've never actually seen that happen before with the barrel guy. Um, the barrel actually never respawns, so that was weird that I died right there. I guess it is made just there. Try jumping. Thanks, game. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to try jumping off that. All right, again, two ways to go, up or down. We're going to go up to go kill the boss. Um, we're going to go down later in the uh, Let's Play, as always, so don't worry about that. Praise the sun. Praise the sun, indeed. A whole lot of barrels. Everything's destructible in this game, so you can just roll through these barrels like it's nobody's business. What does this say? Uh, here, but nothing there. Don't even, don't even fall for that. Actually, didn't check that. No. Sometimes there's walls that you can just roll through. I don't know why they added them in the game, just to be dicks, I guess. But whatever. Um, here, there is something though. So there is a lizard. Okay, gotta get the lizard. Uh, right there. 
Okay. Oh, shit. Come on. Come on back. Get back here. Alright, there he is. Alright. So the lizard drops uh, Titanite stuff. So a Twinkling Titanite and a Titanite Chunk. What that does is it lets us upgrade weapons. So, good. For weapon upgrading. Alright. So this is going to be to the boss room. So the boss is actually... He doesn't show up until we run over there. So we're just going to deal with this up here. Um, when I first walked in here, I actually saw this ladder and I went up here. Good thing I did. Because there's these archers up here. Now these are... Um, these guys can be very annoying during the fight if you don't kill them. So just make sure you kill them because they both get bows. So they can both... As you can see there, that was some AoE damage. Nice nice shot there, buddy. I can see that your aim is top notch. So as you can see there, um, if you didn't kill those, they'd be shooting you during the entire fight. Uh, try a plunging attack. Rating 25. Wow. What does this say? Praise the sun. Praise the sun indeed. All right. So uh, try a plunging attack. I'm not going to try that because that's for casuals. <laughs> um, let's just go over here. As you can see, oh, there's a hole in the tower up there. I wonder why. Uh, oh, because this guy's here. This is the Taurus Demon. Hey, buddy. So he's actually very easy to kill as well. Um, there's one boss I'll be having a lot of trouble with soon. I had a lot of trouble... What the fuck? What? <laughs> I've never... That's never happened to me before. Oh, my God. Okay, well, that was... That was just showing that this game is tough. <laughs> well, um, I died to the Taurus Demon. I guess I'll see you guys back there. Alright, so I'm back in the Taurus Demon room. The funny thing is that I can just run by all the enemies and they can't traverse the white light with me. Or, the yeah, the white light. So, um, the white fog, should I say. I'm saying the white light, but it's not. So, yeah. So, remember that when you're playing through the game. Oh, shit. Okay, that guy does quite a bit of damage. I'm just going to kill him. Drake and Estes Flask. Perfect. Okay. So, they can't traverse the white fog with you. So, um... Just keep that in mind. So this is where retrieving my souls comes becomes difficult. I need to go over there, retrieve my souls, and then kill the, the Taurus Demon. Um, I've never had trouble with the Taurus Demon before, so it's weird that I got killed the first time by him. Alright. Retrieve souls. Okay. Good. Alright. He's really not that hard. I don't know why I had so much trouble with him last time. Alright. Good. And then you just get to smack him in the crotch. That's actually how you kill the Taurus Demon. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, that did damage. Yesterday, okay, I'm just, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I was actually practicing this game yesterday, just for this Let's Play, making sure I wouldn't screw up the first parts. Okay. And I one-shotted this guy, no problem. I, like, I went in here, and I beat the boss first try. Alright, oh shit, man. Like, this guy, this guy seems a lot harder this time around, though. Okay, good. So you just roll whenever he does anything, I think, if I remember correctly. Good, okay. Alright. Yesterday, though, I had a better weapon, so it was doing a bit more damage than this. Oh, and he can get staggered as well, which is weird for a boss. He's not really a boss, though, because you end up fighting, like, three of these guys at once later on in the game. I don't think they can he can fall off the edge. I never actually tried. Alright. Alright, good. That was some good damage there. 117. Oh, no! Off the edge? What? That's that's terrible. I died twice to the Taurus Demon. Alright, back there again. Alright, let's do this this time. The funny thing is that I was all cocky about this the first time. I was like, oh yeah, this boss, he's not even that hard, man. Like, you know, I'm just, if I die on this boss, man, I'm not the worst player ever. And look at me dying twice to him. Hilarious. Okay. So. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Okay. Well, that's damage. Okay, I'm gonna drink... Okay. He was legitimately easier earlier, I swear. This is ridiculous. Okay. Drink again. Okay. I don't remember what I did yesterday. Okay, so I put myself... Oh, shit. Okay, let's move away from that. these big holes here so I don't, that doesn't happen again. Alright. Good, okay. Okay, I can sort of block that. I must have had better poise yesterday. I don't know. Good, okay. Drink up again. Alright, I, I can't believe I'm taking this much damage to Taurus Demon. I usually don't. Ow, man. Yeah, for some reason I'm taking way too much damage from this guy.
Beautiful. Okay, drank. We've got two left. This is coming down to the wire here. Perfect. Oh man, he can crush you with his feet. That sucks. Okay, good. Good, okay, we got him here. Drink. That's, we got one Estus Flask left. Oh man, I'm not rolling at the right time. I'm, and my timing is really off for some reason. Okay, good. I blocked that. Last Estus Flask, better make it count. Alright. Well, I did not make it count, okay. Probably gonna die here. <sighs> this is getting close. Okay. Nope. Died right before he died. You know what, I'm just gonna cut to when I actually kill this. This is ridiculous. If this game takes this much, if this game gives me this much challenge, for all the bosses, I might actually never finish it. He actually fell off! I can't believe I killed Taurus Demon by him falling off. Well, that just happened. Alright, well that was pathetic. I apologize for that. That was really stupid of me. I don't know why I failed so hard on that boss. Usually, I can, uh... Usually, I do a lot better. I, 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 I Maybe today's just a bad day. Maybe today's just a bad day. Maybe I'll do better later. Um, I don't know why. Like, yesterday, it was just so easy. So... He gave us 3,000 souls. Perfect. Alright, so we walk down here. Um, and here he is. This is actually Solaire. Now, this is a fan favorite character. I'm going to talk uh, to him. Hello. You don't look hollow. Far from it. I am Solaire of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> Alright, so that's... Um... Solaire. Alright, let's give him another oh, time. Aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. Anything for you, Solaire. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows. Could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? Uh, sure. This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. The white sign soapstone. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly totally cooperation. I love that. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> well... He's a great character, Solaire. And all these, what oh, do they say? Oh. Hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly, grossly incandescent. <laughs> He's great. Anyways, let's read these messages here. Happiness, okay. Um, and praise the sun. So that's where that saying comes from. Praise the sun from Solaire. Because he praises the sun. I mean, he's here to find his own sun. All right, so, sun, S-U-N, not S-O-N. All right, so, looks like there's some burn marks on the floor here, okay. Um, oh! That killed me? That didn't kill me yesterday. <laughs> uh, okay, so, we're back here. Okay, um, so that was the Drake. Um, I'm gonna go back and get my souls. Let, I'll see you back up there.
Okay, we're back. And then as you can see there, the dragon is now just resting there on his perch. So let's just run, grab this. Oh, crap. Okay. Retrieve the souls. Okay. And now we just got to get right in here. Watch. Right here. Perfect. Okay, we're there. Oh, man. Okay, this is this is weird that the game is being so rough on me. Okay. Kick the ladder. And this will bridge the gap. I'll show you this in a second here. Watch this. Just come down here and we're back at the bonfire. So we can just rest at the bonfire here. 6,000 souls will let us level up. So we'll level up before leaving the episode here. Let's put two more points in dexterity, two more there, and two more there. Look at that. 14, 14, 18. Not bad. And perfect. All right. So we're back at the bonfire. Um, that was a rough episode. I apologize for all the deaths, but I guess that was pretty fun for you guys to watch too. So thanks for watching, guys. As always, if you leave a like and subscribe, I'd much appreciate it. Same for three likes on this video. If you enjoyed it, um, always leave a like. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.